is Jeopardy. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex. Right on, John. Okay, John, do your thing. All right. This is Jeopardy, show 7,541, VTR 22217, air 52917. 10 seconds. I said we had a couple of years to give away, and we do. And I said it was regarding Jeopardy, and it is. It's a brand new app for Jeopardy for people on the move. silent or do you want me to say something you can uh can i ask you questions like what sure. you're doing yeah so yeah what are what are you doing i'm just going over the games that we're going to be taping today to uh, familiarize myself with uh the words uh the sense of each clue so that i do not make too many mistakes when i'm reading the clues as we tape them it takes about an hour and a half to go over the five games So you taped five shows today? Yes. I get here at 6 in the morning. I go over mail and stuff. I get the games at 7.30. And uh, after an hour and a half of work on them, I'll go into a production meeting with uh, our writers and the producers. And uh, we'll review the material to see if there are any uh, conflicts. The games are selected at random, so they're is the possibility that a clue in one game might be similar to a clue or a subject in another game and we don't want that because if we allowed that to remain it might appear that we were favoring one contestant over the others. And what are these notes you're making? Just a pr Just pronunciation? or Diacritical, knowing where to stress uh, because of the layout of the screen that contains our clues, some words that should be together are separated, one on one line, the other on another line, and sometimes just naturally we tend to pause at the end of a line, and uh, so we don't want to do that. I want to run them together if they belong together. You've been doing this for so long. Is, is the five shows a day taping just easy for you, or does it still seem like a it's hectic... A long, it's a long day. It's a long day, but it's fun. I circle clues if I think that they bear discussing uh, in the roundtable meeting we'll have shortly. And what types of things are worthy of discussion? Like, what makes you circle a clue? If I think it could be improved, if I think it's uh, repetitive regarding a subject that came up earlier, or if I just don't like the way it's written and I don't feel comfortable reading it that way. So you pull out the dictionary a good bit? Yeah, if there's something that I want to check on and uh, I'm not quite sure. And if I can't find it in the dictionary, I'll get the researchers to look up something for me if I need it. In this case, it's a foreign name. And uh, I'm not, well, I have a pretty good idea how to read it, but I'm not 100% certain and I don't want to appear on camera making a mistake. There's always a viewer who's going to catch you on something. How many clues do you have to go over every morning uh, on the taping day? Well, five games, uh, 70, 350 clues, I guess, approximately. So is your team of writers and researchers, have they been with you for a long time, or is, it, is there a lot of turnover? There is no turnover here. Working for Jeopardy is an annuity. You start and you go on forever. In the early days, we had some writers and researchers who left after just a few years, but mostly our writing staff has been with us for ages. All right. Thank you so much for the time. We'll yeah. catch you down the, down the line. Okay. Thanks, Thank you. See you in there. All right. <clears throat> you want coffee or anything?
I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So you, Are you Norwegian? No. <laughs> no. You look so Scandinavian. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. Oh, Alex, check out. Hmm? Have you met Graham? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just, uh, I was in his office for a few minutes. Oh, you were? Yeah. He's ignoring you. <laughs> If you don't do a good job writing clues for Jeopardy, this is what happens to your material. <laughs> there, take a shot of this. This is one of the original writers on Jeopardy. His name is Steve Dorfman. He's been dead for how many years? Thirteen. Thirteen years. And I bet you we're still using some of his clues. We still have some. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Harry? He's, he's, he, I think he's getting coffee. Am I the only one at this table who has almost no interest in the Oscar telecast this coming weekend? I mean, it's like it's not happening. It's not a, the event that it has been in the past. Yeah. There's no real clear front runners or big like, oh my god. You La La know. Land <clears throat> seems La La to be Land's, the favorite. Yeah, they're the favorite, but it's kind of like, kind of a soft landing. Like the horsemen or something like that. I mean, if you give me a list of ones you'd like, we'll have some nice ones printed up for you. Okay. Is that Why are we redecorating this, this area? I mean, you cleaned it up because you expected the uh, head of Sony to come by and you wanted us to look good. We got new chairs, I don't understand that. What was wrong with the, the chair I've been using for years with the big 12-inch gash in it? With the stuffing coming out. Yeah, what was wrong with that? You didn't mind. I didn't mind, I did. I've did. i never complained about it. All right, have you got enough, I hope? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Now we can get rid of the fake game. <laughs> okay. Right, the real game. Thank you all again. All right, we'll see you out there on the floor. All right. I'm fine. Kathy's going to ready for me to come in? Yeah, sure. All right. Forgive me, but please tell me your name again. Graham, like Graham, Graham Cracker. <laughs> okay, Cracker. <laughs> we don't like crackers here. Is that right? Crackers. So do you have a long ride in to the studio, or do you live pretty close? It's a 30-minute ride in at 5.30 in the morning, and it's an hour ride home at 5 in the evening. So there's a difference. What do you do on your, your commute into work? Do you Are you reading anything, or are you just sitting quietly? like Listening to the radio. Okay. And do you, do you drive yourself in? Really? Got my trusty Ram truck, and here I come. What do you like to eat for breakfast uh, every day? On a day of a taping, especially. You have a diet, like regimen routine? <laughs> a diet Coke, or a diet Pepsi, or a diet Dr. Pepper. And I've, I used to have a lot of Milky Ways and stuff, but uh, I will have a oats and honey nature bar sort of thing. He's given and a twix. <laughs> no, I have some twix. <laughs> so you love soda and candy? Yeah, to a certain extent. I mean, you look like a pretty fit guy. I mean, do you? What's your What's your fitness routine? There is none. None? None. Absolutely none. You You don't work out at all, or? No. Wow. I don't believe in it. Why not? I don't believe in exercise for the sake of exercise. If I'm going somewhere, I will walk. But if I don't have to go anywhere, I'm not likely to get on the treadmill and do exercise. But one of these days I'll change, I'll do it. Pleasure and Well, with that being said, you do a ton of work around your house. Yeah. Oh, you, you have a green thumb? No. I have a brown thumb. I do. <laughs> labor-type demolition and 
break things and fix them and get my hands dirty. Literally get my hands dirty. What are your, some of your recent projects or things that you've been working on at the, around the house lately? Helping to renovate my daughter's house, which she just bought. It's a fixer upper. So what does that entail for you, like manual labor wise? Electrical, plumbing, drywall, demolition, carpentry, painting. Wow, so you like to get in there and actually do it. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so good, good to go. You're a perfection. All right, thank you. You are so very welcome. Okay. We'll see you later. All right, looking forward to it. If you could give any piece of advice to your 20 year old self, what would that be? If you could go back in time and give that person some advice, what would it be? Try to meet Ava Gardner if you can. Uh -oh. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Rita. Why is this show so beloved and why has it lasted so long? I think it's a combination of the two parts of your question. It is beloved because it has lasted so long. People who are television viewers relate positively to Jeopardy because there are no great negatives about our program. We try to emphasize the positive. We favor learning. Uh, we want you and our contestants to demonstrate that knowledge is not only important, but it's valuable in every aspect of your life. So we reinforce the positives, and you can't go wrong with that. Uh, we're here to have fun, or at least we hope you're here to have fun. We make the assumption that you're here because you're fans of the show. Otherwise, why on earth would you decide to come out on a cold day and sit in a cold studio for three hours if you weren't fans of the show? Maybe you'll learn something. Maybe uh, we will inspire you to try out as uh, possible contestants for Jeopardy. But if not, we have these commercial breaks with no commercials, so we can stare at each other, we can take naps, or whatever. Or we can talk. As Johnny indicated, if you have any questions, just raise your hand and I will get to you. And uh, you can ask a question, anything at all. No subject is taboo. And if I don't know the answer to your question, I will make something up. <laughs> all right? Yes, sir. What's your proudest moment on the show? Proudest moment on the show. I do not have a proudest moment, to, to be quite honest. We've done over 7,500 shows, and I don't even remember the ones we did yesterday. <laughs> Young lady. Because I'm smart. <laughs> and also because they're written on a sheet of paper in front of me. And it takes me an hour and a half to read over all five games that we are taping today. Because I don't want to make a mistake in print saying words properly. <laughs> What was my first job? I was a bellhop at a hotel in Canada, in my hometown, where my father worked as the chef. I was 13 years old. I used to get a big tip. A big tip was 25 cents. An average tip was 10 cents. Yes? What is your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Uh, to be quite honest with you, it is low-fat milk. <laughs> And, but I, it, it's almost on a par with Chardonnay. <laughs> I, don't, I don't drink liquor, but I do, dr I do enjoy Chardonnay. And uh, I get up quite often during the middle, in the middle of the night, and I'll go to the refrigerator, and uh, I'll get a, a full glass of low-fat milk. It's just, I don't know why, but I've got into the habit. I've always liked low-fat milk. Favorite place to vacation, Yorkshire, England, a town called Howard, home of the Brontes. My wife and I visited there before we got married, after we got married, after our first son was born, our only son was born, after our daughter was born, we walked the moors together like Heathcliff and Catherine in Wuthering Heights. Even in a pouring rainstorm, we do it. It's romantic. And then we go to the doctors to get treated for flu. <laughs> yes.
the half hour I get to spend on stage with three very bright people. I don't like spending time with stupid people. So I have very few friends. <laughs> <laughs> He's a friend. How did you get this job? They phoned me one day and said, we're bringing Jeopardy back on the air. We'd like you to host it. And I said, will you pay me? And they said, yes. I said, okay, I'm your man. Has there ever been any point where you got tired of doing no. this job in Jeopardy? And, and it's, you know, it's, it's been so many years. What makes you keep wanting to come back to this format, to this game? Well, they pay me well, and I enjoy doing the work. So there's no downside for me. I really enjoy what I'm doing and have for the past 33 years. Do I have any? Do I have any plans for retirement? No? Do you know something I don't? Darn. Not everybody likes me. Do I have how much longer do you want to continue to be the host of the show? Oh, probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, as long as my skills have not diminished to the point where I feel embarrassed because I'm making a lot of mistakes, and as long as the show uh, retains its popularity, and as long as I enjoy the time I spend taping Jeopardy. Finally, um, yesterday you went legitimately viral, as they say, with uh, the clip of you reciting the rap lyrics. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. Young money militia, and I am the commissioner. You don't want to start wheezy, because the F is for finisher. So everyone's been asking me, um, since they knew I was coming out here, uh, if you would give us another quick recitation of uh, some lyrics that are, they're not like filthy or explicit, but of the biggest song in the world right now. It's another rap song. I've got them printed out here. If you, would you be willing to, to recite this in the same? Let, let me see Sure. if I can read it. Raindrops, drop tops, bankrolls on me, keep me company. We did the most, pull up in ghosts, dabbing on them like the usual. I'm young and rich, plus I'm bougie. We have one more if you have time for just one more. This is from Jay-Z and DJ Khaled. Another one, Wraith Talk, Wraith Talk. Here we go talking that safe talk. My swag different, my bag different, my wife Beyonce, I brag different. Special cloth talk, major key. Alex, thank you so much. I have no idea what I just read. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was wonderful. All right. So thanks for all your time. Okay. This has been a thrill. Take care. Thank you. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you so much.